Hello, I am Aditi and this is Nidhi Hi. and today we are going to show you how to conduct blind walks. First things first, how do we go about selecting a place? Choose an open space, ideally one where you do not need permissions. We are doing it in our society's park. If you are doing a blind walk in your office or school, make sure you have all the necessary permissions like from the admin or media release permission. Choose a space that is open, that has some obstacles to make the experience interesting, but strictly no steps, no stakes. Secondly, what do we need? We may choose to have a placard or a banner which says unique experience blind walk, just to tell what we are doing to the onlookers, but that is not a necessity. Today, we are not using any such placard or chart. What we definitely need is an open space. Don't forget that. Site selection is important. Thirdly, what do we not need? We do not need blindfolds. We do not need white canes. We just need our mindfulness, our presence to make this a unique experience for all participants. So let's get started. Over to you, Nidhi. So you are the person who comes and asks me what is going on here. Okay, Nidhi. So I've come for a walk in the park. And Nidhi, what is this happening? This seems to be a very interesting experience. Tell me more. Would you like to have a very different, unique kind of experience within 10 minutes? Definitely. Okay. So what we do is we get started there. And from there, we are inviting you to experience this place as a blind person would experience it. We believe that people are not exclusive by design, but it's not part of our conversations. You can open your eyes at any time that you want. Whenever you're ready, we walk there. Good to start. The blind walk is conducted in three formats. In the first format is unaccompanied. You have to walk from here to there. That's it. Just that really. On your own. I will only stop you if you are going to hurt yourself, if you are going way off course. Those are the only times. In the second format, I will give you audio guide and you have to go from this end of the railing to the other side, half of this circle. Got it. And in the third format, I will guide you with movement. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes and like I said, at any time during this experience, you can open your eyes. Start. If you are the volunteer, also pay attention to the ground. Stop and you have reached. Okay. From here to that side, I will be giving you audio guides. Now the way we do an audio guide I, is that we follow the hands of the clock. So if I want you to turn here, I say 2 o'clock. Got it. Okay, and that's 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Ready? Close your eyes and start. 8 steps straight. Okay, 10 o'clock. 4 steps. Uh, walk straight, 10 steps. And you have reached your destination. In the third format, this is what you do if you have to help somebody on the road. You stand on the non-dominant side of the person. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. So I stand to your left. I walk one step ahead of you, like this, and you hold me at the elbow here. And I hold the elbow at a right angle. If I'm walking too fast, just use this to tug. So we walk at your foot. I will also announce all steps in advance and how many steps there are and how high they are. We don't have them here. And I will again guide direction by 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We Got now it. have to make it back to where we started. Ready? Okay. Close your eyes. Now we turn to 2 o'clock. And then we walk straight. And we are done. How was your experience? 
humbling, a little scary, and like you said, very unique. I'm so glad you enjoyed. For the rest of the instruction video, we go back to work. When you introduce the event to somebody, you will use um, maybe different words compared to what we do or what we used over here, but some points are necessary. Firstly, do remember to tell them that this event takes only 10 minutes. It is being conducted by volunteers of an NGO called Isha. There are no monetary exchanges here. There are no charges. There are no tips. The participants are free to open their eyes any time during their experience. We are not very active on social media. So do not promise that the photos or images or videos taken will be posted on social media. However, do inform that they may be used. If used, we do not tag individuals on social media. Remember that this activity is always done in pairs. And to make this a truly fulfilling experience, encourage the team to swap or exchange positions. So the guide or the volunteer will become the walker in the second uh, walk and the walker will become the, part, the guide or the volunteer so that they both get to experience both the perspectives. And now we come to the second most important part of the activity, which is the feedback. After they have finished walking, ask them, how was your experience? At this time, ideally put the video away. We may take some videos, but generally this is a point at which we allow the person to remain in the moment and share with us how they felt. Remember, as a volunteer, this may be your 5th or 7th or 25th blind walk. Most probably you will yourself experience aha moments in each and every walk that you volunteer for. But maybe you start to feel a little jaded. But remember for the participant that this is their first ever experience and they are going to feel a little shaken, a little humbled, something would have shifted inside them they would have had their aha moment so let them talk about it let them soak in that moment and we always try to avoid giving too much gyan in fact we give no gyan at all that is one of the rules of debrief we give no gyan we only ask them how was your experience but nidhi like we were doing the walk here we saw people stop and see us do it what do you do if there are too many people who are now wanting to come and experience this? How do you manage that? See, usually we go in pairs of two. So normally there are only one or two volunteers doing the blind walk. However, because we use the walker volunteer concept and we always club two participants together, the need for our volunteering goes down. Uh, there is always a line of about two or three people whenever we conduct a blind walk. Some of the things you can do is you can choose multiple tracks within the same location. For example, in this park, one would follow the track that we followed. I might encourage another team to follow that track over there along the borders of the park so that more people are able to go through the experience at the same time. Uh, sometimes we estimate how long each one is taking and we encourage people to plan their time accordingly. So, so those are some of the things we do. Perfect. After doing one round, it is time to exchange positions. Yes. So do I become the volunteer now and do I ask you to go to the starting point? We can do it from here where you give us the audio guide. Okay, so close your eyes. I will give you audio instructions and if I need you to change your position, we will follow the hands of the clock. Okay. Uh, start five steps straight. Turn 11 o'clock and take 10 steps straight. Turn 11 o'clock. Take five steps straight. And you can stop and open your eyes. Oh, nice. Nice. Now we go to the third phase of the blind walk where the volunteer gives audio instructions and also hold the encourages the participant to hold here 
Sorry, I should have asked you which is your dominant hand. I'm right handed. So then the volunteer comes on the non dominant side. Hold here, crook of the elbow so that the pace of the volunteer is adjusted as per the pace of the participant. In case I'm going too fast, you can tug at my elbow. I will also give audio instructions and we will go back to our starting point. Eyes close and we will start. We continue going straight. Turn 11 o'clock. We are now crossing the area which had the barricade and the fences. Turn 12 o'clock and we go straight. And we stop. You can open your eyes. Congratulations, you finished the blind walk. Thank you. Thank you.